So, um, let me tell you about something that was kind of funny. So, um, I'm not a popular person, so it was kind of weird when everybody was staring at me as I walked past them. And, you know, obviously I was quite surprised, but, um, I was kind of busy, so I didn't think anything of it at the time. Sorry, I just got something stuck in my throat there. And, um... Yeah, so I came into my classroom and I sat down and suddenly everybody just started pointing and laughing at me. And I had no idea what was going on. I thought, you know, maybe my hair wasn't, like, looking good. Maybe I had something stuck in between my teeth. But whatever it was, I really needed to sort it out. So I asked the teacher if I could be excused to go to the bathroom. And, of course, she agreed. And as I left, everybody began to laugh harder. And, honestly, I was just like, what is going on? And so I reached the bathroom, obviously. And when I checked in the mirror, I saw... One day, I was in bed. I was about to go to sleep because it was 11pm. I have trouble sleeping so I put an amethyst under my pillow. Apparently it helps sleeping. I was literally about to fall asleep when, all of a sudden, I heard an ungodly noise. It was coming from under my bed. I started freaking out. It sounded like an animal moving. I called my mom in to look for the animal but we couldn't find anything. So I went to sleep. At 2am I was awoken. I felt something on my face. That's when I realized it was an animal crawling on me. I threw it off me and turned on the light. It was a fucking skunk. I said, get out of here you smelly animal. Anyways, I put the skunk in my brother's room. And I went back to sleep. I was then awakened at 5am. The skunk was on my face again. But this time, it was taking a shit in my mouth. The shit was oozing and dribbling. It smelled so bad. It was gooey. Yui Louie. Very gooey. I picked up the disgusting animal and threw it out of a five-story house. It died. Turns out had bowel cancer. Peace out, Mathurfakas. One day, I was at McDonald's. I decided to order a chocolate milkshake. Bad idea, by the way. I was drinking my milkshake when all of a sudden, I needed to fart. But it was more than a fart. I shouted all over the seat and my family. Everyone started staring and laughing at me because I let out the most. Sloppy, ploppy, gaudy, foggy, smelly, pig's belly, slimy jelly shit ever. I could have been mistaken for a rocket, because my shit was making me fly up in the air. I saw someone recording me and I was like, oh hell no you stinky rat, very fat, fishy fanny. I grabbed their Dora flip phone out of their hand and said, never do that to me again you stupid bitch. I didn't even care that she was 5 years old, fuck her. Anyways I ran home and shit was flying all over the town. I started crying and when I went to school the next day, everyone called me Sandra Slimmer shit. Anyways turns out I have bowel cancer. So one day, my grandma decided it would be a good idea to go horse riding together. I take riding lessons so I knew I wouldn't fall off. But my grandma, this bitch is an inebriate in old. I thought we would just be riding little ponies that are trained well. But no. When we got to the stables, my grandma had this giant like I nail hands horse. I had a tiny little pony which I thought was quite disrespectful seeing as I take lessons but whatever. Anyways, our fucking instructor said we had to gallop across fields. I was like, holy shit my grandma will die right. He didn't listen so we set out across the moors. We were going at like the tacos from here on out and then it hit me. No it literally hit me. My grandma flew into in my horse. She flew up into the sky and was shouting all over the place. She looked like a bird. She was doing elephant turns. She was screaming. Wani ho hey hey ha ha bah hey yahoo yum blushing bo. For some reason she was enjoying it. She landed on the ground and I heard her neck snap. It went crack. Fucking twat. She was lying in an ungodly position and she couldn't move. She started singing, Silent Night, Holy Night. She was rushed to the hospital and she died. When I went to visit her grave, I heard a weird noise. It went something like this. One day it was my birthday and it was a school day. I decided to bring a neighbor of sweets to hand out to everyone. I gave a packet of love hearts to my crush. His name was Barry by the way and went at him. Anyways I started hearing a loud rumble. I looked around at the place and saw my crush turning green. I said what the fuck. He sat into the air and starts doing the walk dance. The whole school started shaking because my crush was letting set out faster than how I did your mom last night. Anyway the whole classroom looked like the fucking Wally Wonker factory and this one ugly bit of started licking the set that was on the walls. Then my teacher started voining in everyone was drooling because it tested so nice. I voined in and put the cock on my face like it was a fissa mesquite smoothed my skin so much I definitely recommend anyways I put a knife and stabbed my dress. He exploded and all his guts were over me. We took his curse to the graveyard and buried him. We sang a song in his honor now from the time I keep drawed that's a what it a bucket and a mop that's a what I'm talking wah 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 that's a what. We all danced to the song and my teacher post on Facebook with the caption, Welcome all slumped for Barry, everyone is welcome. Anyways, turns out Barry had bowel cancer. 
One day I was on Tinder. I was single as fuck so I wanted to find someone to mingle with. I met this really hot dude and started messaging him. He said that I was so sexy and he wanted a shed with me. I said okay daddy meet me at the bridge tomorrow at noon for a quick shed. So the next day I messaged him and told him to get ready for our creamy meetup. He said okay and I started walking to the bridge. When I got there I saw my teacher. I was like oh hello sir what are you doing here and he replied with I'm meeting my Tinder date I was thinking omg what the fuck he's a catfish. I said oh me too and then I quickly knocked him to the floor and we shagged. Surprisingly it wasn't that bad. At school the next day he said oh hello Bubba grill and then he started doing sexy web dance and all the girls were drooling anyways we are now married with 10 kids because we love shagging and we have three dogs. No cats including mine wink wink and one dick. Sorry I meant one hamster. Haha. But then one day he started shaking uncontrollably. And no it wasn't from me. I dumped him because he was like 69 years old and that bitch was all wrinkled and crinkled. Anyways I married my cousin and we shagged turns out my ex-husband aka my teacher has bowel cancer from my pussy power. So I had this friend killed with him, sweetie, and she would always hassle me like she was a fucking cat. I was so sick of this bullshit because she did it every day, and some days she would even strap me with her long ass nails. She crawled around the class and refused to eat the school meals because it wasn't cat food. No one wanted to be her friend, but my mom forced me to invite her over. So I waited for her outside school, and obviously she came out on her hands and knees. She squatted down in the car, and it looked like she was pissing on the seat. Anyways, we got to my house, and she immediately pulled the cat food that was on the floor. But then some Something weirder happened. I saw her upstairs and she was twerking on my Etsy Randall. I said what the fuck. And she jumped out the window and she thought she would land on her feet. But that bitch landed on her back. She violently broke her back. The cat was dead. Her skin shed. We all celebrated with bread. But him sweetie was gone for good and our school threw a party. But her boost still hunts me and my Etsy Randall. Turns out my Etsy Woody doll has bowel cancer. One day I went to the hospital. I was visiting my great uncle because he had bowel cancer, diabetes, nipple piercing rash, the black plague, heart disease, pneumonia, arthritis, coronavirus, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, asthma, werewolf syndrome, saggy willy disease and small dick syndrome. He was 69 years of age and he was very ill as you can tell. He was slowly dying, so before he died, my mom wanted to do one last thing altogether. We went to a water park, like what the actual fuck, he is literally almost dead. Anyways, we were going down the spent me daddy slide when all of a sudden, my great uncle let out the most, sloppy, gloppy, willy is floppy, snobby bobby, ploppy, sag sag, nag nag, shit. It smeared all over the water slide walls, and it got mixed into the pool at the bottom of the slide. The shit flew onto our heads and our hair. It took me 3384 showers to get it out it was that powerful. Anyways, my great uncle started crying and then he suddenly drowned. I tried to do CPR but he started having a heart attack. He later died that day. Did I tell you he had WAP syndrome? It stands for wonky ass penis. Peace out. So one day, I was in class and I was sat next to the weird girl Kara Mitfeder, and we were doing some French work bonjour madam and then out of the corner of my eye I saw Kara Mitfeder picking chewed gum off the table and then eating it. I felt sick and started hyperventilating and I was like, what the fuck fuck cluck duck muck pluck sharp bark fart mark shit nick get hit. She was fiddling with the gum like it was a fucking slime machine cream cream make me scream toy. Anyways, I started feeling a rumble in my tummy and then I was sick everywhere due to Kara Mitfeder's disgusting habits. The vomit was so powerful it lifted me in the air and I kicked Kara in the face. That bitch started choking on her mangled gum and she was coughing like the madman on Alice in Wonderland. She then slumped down on her desk. She died. Anyways, I was now shouting all over the teacher. Her name was Mrs. Slap My Ass Like the Drum, and then I fell out of the window and landed on a pussy. Anyways, turns out, Kara, my teacher, the pussy I landed on, and me all have bowel cancer. One day, I went to a fair with my grandpa. He always wanted to try the chili sauce that they had there, but my granny told me never to let him try it. Because I was a goody two-shoes, I promised myself never to let him have it. I knew my ass would get hooked if he tried it. Anyway, we arrived at the fair, and I decided to let him get a big bowl of chili sauce because he wouldn't stop asking. I thought I was such a baddie. After five minutes, I saw why he wasn't allowed it. My grandpa said he needed to go to the toilet and he shoved all the little kids out the way. He almost made it to the toilet but he slipped on a banana peel. Shit flew out of his ass with the force of a volcano. It was green and slimy. It stunk like a homeless cat. Moldy rat. Shoot the fat. Lazy bat. The shit got all over the people walking past. I thought to myself oh fuck. Loads of seagulls came past and started eating out my grandpa's ass. I ran home to my grandma and we called the ambulance. My grandpa had bowel cancer. Okay, so one day my school and I were going on a trip to Wally Fanny Femme Park, and I could not wait for it. On the night before the trip, I asked my mom and Wumi to tuck me into my bed. Mom and Wumi said yes, and I ran upstairs believing I was the next Olympian because Jim Kikor was running through my veins. However, as I was running up the stairs, I suddenly felt the urge to vomit. Mom and Wumi's casserole turned out to have my dog's juicy, slimy, sloppy, moppy hot shit in it instead of the gravy. So anyway, as I'm now clenching my tongue to in slow motion, my dog, the one who shot in my mom and Wumi's casserole, decided to run in front of me right when the shitterole decided to fly. My dog was covered in the most gloopy, slimy, spoopy, moist, smelly, like my mommy's belly, wobbly, globbly, shouty juice to the point where he looked like he was coated in shell and Nelly sewage. I started falling down the stairs in slow motion as my mommy and caught me in slow motion. I now have a Nobel Prize for inventing a new type of chemical in my shouty nasty fishy gloopy vomit oh and also my dog turned out to have a super rare, advanced form of bowel cancer. Don't you hate it when parents like compare you to other children? Like, for example, like when parents are like, yeah, look at Felicia, she got a 7 out of 8 on her test. You only got a 6. Like, it's so freaking annoying. Do I even care whether Felicia got a 7 or a 6 or a 5 or an 8 on her test? Do I even care? No, I don't. And then when, like, I respond, yeah, but 
uh, Lucia got a three on her test. They're like, don't compare yourself to Lucia. <laughs> Hello? Excuse me? Isn't that what you just did, honey? Isn't that what you just, didn't you just compare me? And then also when they're like, oh yeah, come down for dinner, and your mom is like screaming at you. And like when you come like 10 seconds late, they get so mad at you and they're like, why didn't you come? We called you. It's all because of your phone. Honey, no, it's not because of my phone. And then when you come down early, the food isn't even ready. Excuse me? The food isn't even ready and it's not even on the table. And then they're like, go set the table. Girl, I thought you said dinner was ready. You brought me down here for dinner. And then dinner isn't even ready. Like, how? Why? I swear. And then they're like, oh yeah, go set the table, set the table. Like, I don't mind setting the table. But calling me down and then the dinner not even being ready. Like, I came down here for food. Food. The yumminess that comes into my belly. The thing I enjoy the most. Food. So, parents, if you're watching this, please stop. Okay, I don't know if this is a popular opinion or not, but babies or toddlers or any type of small child really get on my nerves. Like, they are so annoying. I would just be minding my business on my phone, just chilling on TikTok or whatever I'm doing, and a baby will come up to me or a toddler with his huge, gigantic eyes and be like, do you have games on your phone? Like, yes, yes, I do, but, um, no, <laughs> I'm not going to give it to you because those games aren't for you. And... But they would just like sit there and they are so spoiled that next time you see them, they're going to be like, like if you let them have your phone, next time you see them, they're going to beg you for your phone again and again and again. And so your phone is basically cracked and dead. Um, and if you say no, they're going to run up to their mom and they're going to start crying and telling her that we're not giving you the phone. And they'll come up and be like, oh, come on, just please give them your phone. Like, no, I'm not going to give my phone. It is my phone. My phone phone not yours go buy your toddler a phone if they really want one and don't ask to give my phone to them and then if you do give them their phone also um <laughs> your phone ends up being all musty crusty with their um disgusting fingerprints on it <laughs> so yeah that's kind of why i hate them yeah um but at least it's quite a pleasure when we see them fall and cry yeah that's nice replying to people's comments part one i guess I swear, oxygen is so overrated. Like, jeez. I know, right? Like, I definitely prefer H2O. Dogs or cats? I'd say dogs, um, because, like, I don't know. I just like them more. I don't want to say anything because I'm going to offend people. But, yeah, I just like dogs more. Orange is called oranges because the color is orange, or it's orange is called oranges because they're oranges. Um, well, I believe, like, the fruit was made first. I feel like colors were invented after objects were with colors. I don't know, okay? This comment is confusing me too much. Take out all the H's and shush. Wait, S H. Sus. Oh, sh. Hello, I want to know your opinions on glittery frogs. I've never actually met one, but I can imagine they're very swag. You sound like stories with Selena. Oh my god, really? I would have never thought of that. What is your favorite food? Sushi. 100%. Like, sushi is the best. You cannot tell me otherwise. Look, I'm in a video. Well, now you are. I won't breathe if you don't put me in a video. Oh, uh, it's been seven hours. You good? Bread. How does this have 45 likes? What is wrong with you guys? Replying to people's comments, part two, because why not? What made you famous? Okay, first of all, I'm not famous. And second of all, now that I think about it, I have absolutely no idea. Like, I have no idea how I got to where I am. But you know what? That's the fun of it. 
Put me in a video, I will eat my foot. Damn, bro. Kind of regret putting you in a video because I kind of wanted to ask you if it tastes good. I love sushi too. I have nothing to say but bread. Okay, what is it with you guys and bread? Like, like I'm not even joking. Like, it's concerning. What is it with you guys and bread? What is so special about bread? I don't even know. I'm not clumsy. The floor just hates me. The table and chairs are bullies and the walls get in my way. Girl, just push them back. I'm not a normal girl. I'm a chipmunk. Oh my god, I just found my twin. I'm a single lady, I'm a single lady, I'm a single lady, I'm a single lady. Me, awesome, laughing emoji face. My dad. Oh. I... Okay. My soul, my face, my food, me right now, my dad, my mom, my brother. Oh, I swear to god, if I see this coming one more time... You know what? Never mind. How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay, I just had a seizure reading that. Please don't do that to me ever again. I forgot you were a thing. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Because, like, I didn't post in, like, three months. So I respect that. Lol. Yeah, very lol. You know, um, laughing world loners. Laugh at me because I'm emo. 